Hey there. Did you know that I used to be addicted to soap? It's okay. I'm clean now. Welcome back. Today we're reacting to some more Kurzgesagt. Today we're going to react to one of the more recent immune system videos, how the immune system actually works. Immune. I don't know why that last immune is in the title, but uh, I, I guess we'll figure it out. So we watched one of their older ones and it was pretty great. Um, now we're going to cycle into the newer versions of these. It's so ridiculously mind-blowing how complex and huge and busy and effective the immune system is in human beings. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. And they're doing a lot of simplification here, I know. It's still hard to wrap your head around sometimes. You're looking for the wonders of the universe. Well, you are one. Trust me. So anyway, let's hop right in and see what they have to say. Can't wait to learn more. The human immune system is the most complex biological system we know after the human brain, and yet most of us that makes sense never learn that the brain works, would be a little bit more complex. Your immune system consists of hundreds of tiny and two large organs. It has its own transport network spread throughout your body. Every day, it makes hundreds of billions of fresh cells organized like an army with soldiers, captains, intelligence officers, heavy weapons, and crazy suicide bombers. Wow. It's not some sort of abstract entity. Your immune system is you. Your biology protecting you from the billions of microorganisms that want to consume you. So crazy. Perverted cells that turn into cancer. Mm -hmm. It's so manifold that it's Those perverts. To cover in one video, so we'll make a series looking at different aspects of it. Today, what happens when your body is invaded and your first lines of defenses are engaged in a fight for life and death? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Man, their animation style's really changed over time, hasn't it? It's a lot it's more cleaner and day. more busy now, too. The world explodes and an asteroid rips the sky. Hey, did we switch videos or what? Alien life forms invade. Ready to destroy cities and infrastructure and eat civilians. Oh, this is I see what your cells experience. That's very clever. Look at your bleeding thumb that you just cut on a dirty <laughs> twig in the park. Yeah, to us it's like, oh whatever, a little it's tiny cut. Mm -hmm. A horrible catastrophe has happened. Whole world is changing though for that portion of your body. Everywhere. Even worse, countless bacteria invade the warm caverns between your helpless cells to explore their new home, steal your resources, and poop everywhere. Immediately, ah, the first poop in stage me. of your defense kicks in. Jerks. The cells that survived the impact or are hurt or look at this animation. In panic, releasing an onslaught of I'm really glad we watched the older one because now I really appreciate the animation the even more to show up on this newer one. If an average cell with the size of a human macrophage. A macrophage would be the size of a black rhino. A stoic. Oh, so it's huge. But you wouldn't want to annoy it. Bacteria <laughs> do annoy them. Within seconds, the large cells attack and begin killing them without mercy. They stretch mm -hmm. out parts like the arms of an octopus and grab the bacteria to swallow them whole oh, okay. and digest them alive. A macrophage can eat 100 bacteria before it's exhausted. But okay. there are two then it just dies, or so the macrophages call for does the macrophage die, or does it just have to like take a rest? Of thousands of neutrophils after that, their signals and move to the battlefield. I'm almost positive in the last video that they said neutrophile, and it confused me because it looks like neutrophil. Glad they're saying neutrophil now, because that was actually bothering me. Neutrophils are intense suicide warriors that only live to kill. They're so okay. enthusiastic about killing that they kill themselves a few days after birth, so they don't have time to accidentally destroy uh -huh. the body from the inside. As Makes as sense. Arise, you don't want it to go crazy and attack things it's not supposed to. Or devour them. They are so careless in their attacks that they are causing real damage to your own cells. But collateral damage is not uh. their concern now. Or ever. So it's good that they so kill themselves after a while. So far to push their suicide button and explode. Casting wide and toxic nets made from their own DNA filled with uh. deadly chemicals that trap and kill bacteria. It's clever. Sometimes they can Thank you for your service. That. Even though they're sort of dead already, this is how much fun they have killing. <laughs> While the battle rages, your blood vessels let fluid stream into the battlefield like a dam mm -hmm. opening up towards a valley. 
You notice this as inflammation. Your thumb okay. swells up a little and gets red and warm. The fluid brings a silent killer into the battle zone. Millions of complement proteins. A sort of complement proteins that stuns and kills bacteria by ripping holes into them. We made a whole oh, wow. explaining them in detail. We'll have to check that out. Complement. Now. If things go well, your first line of defense kills the invaders quickly. But sometimes the enemies are too strong and would overwhelm mm -hmm. your defenses eventually, which means certain death for you, the human. This is the hour of the dendritic cell, your immune system's intelligence officer. While your soldiers were bashing in heads, it was collecting samples by ripping bacteria yeah. into tiny parts and covering itself in it. <laughs> like a soldier decorating itself in the guts of a dead enemy. The cell leaves the battlefield and enters the superhighway. Talk about your war paint, wow. All your tissues with your immune headquarters, your lymph mm -hmm. nodes. The okay. dendritic cell coming from the battlefield is looking for a helper T cell, which is a sort of all purpose commander cell within your immune army. But not right. any helper T cell, one that happens to have. So it's like the, the right big helper then. The bacteria that infected your wound. Oh. So it goes around and rubs itself, still covered in bacteria parts, against every helper T cell it meets. Oh, so each helper T cell is different. But after a few hours, Something they're like coded drops. differently a helper t-cell recognizes the bacteria parts this cell is the weapon oh. that's needed right now the dendritic cell is overjoyed and activates the helper t-cell okay i wait. see how come your immune system has a cell that has a weapon against the specific bacteria that infected it's you good good question well your immune system has a perfect weapon against every possible disease in the universe against the really death the coronavirus or an infection. So is the trick just finding the right one in time? We'll talk about this a bit more in the next video because it's very complex. So for now, just know that you have billions of unique helper T cells that each have weapons against every possible enemy. Uh -huh. After the right T That's insane. Your second line of defense awakes and rises like a teenager that needs to get up on a school day. Very slowly. <laughs> your heavy weapons are incredible. I feel effective. that but they're not fast. The activated helper T cell begins to clone itself over and over again. Mm -hmm. One becomes two, two become four, until- Well, at least it's exponential, out. right? Now they split into two if groups. If there's all splitting. The first group quickly moves to help out your soldiers. At mm -hmm. the battlefield, things are getting out of hand. A tired macrophage is ready to give up. After fighting for days, it just wants to go to sleep, like many of its buddies have done already. But oh, so it doesn't die, it goes to sleep. Life. Okay. One of them comes to the tired macrophage and whispers something using special chemical signals. In a heartbeat, the demoralized what kind of secrets soldier feels telling? fresh again. But there's something else. A hot, white anger. The macrophage knows what it needs to do. Why are you so mad, bro? Invigorated, it throws itself against the enemies once again. <laughs> All over the battlefield, this begins to happen. Meanwhile, okay. the second group of helper T cells was working on activating another line of defense, B cells, your antibody factories. The B cells, okay. are protein superweapons that look like tiny crabs with two pincers to grab enemies. Just huh. like the helper T cells, there are B cells in your body that are able to make just the right antibodies for every possible enemy. Ah, uh, so it's a matter of finding the right one again? These B cells. Gotcha. After a day or two, the right bee cell is found and begins to clone itself. As soon as enough clones have been made, each bee cell begins pumping out up to 2,000 antibodies per second. About a week after you injured yourself and bacteria invaded, your <laughs> second line of defense finally arrived. Yeah, and we just continue on like nothing's happening, right? To us, it's like, ah, oh, it stings a little bit when I move my, my thumb. Bacteria. The antibodies and there's just this whole war on a scale like we've never seen as a species going on within our body. <laughs> it's crazy. So mind-blowing. Your soldiers realize they are no longer needed and begin to kill themselves to save resources. But not all of them. A few helper T cells remain and turn into memory cells. They will guard the tissue for years, making sure the same bacteria will never again gain a foothold here. 
Mm. Similarly, a few B cells will stay alive and keep producing a low amount of antibodies, making you immune against this bacteria, maybe for the rest of your life. Why don't we just find a way to activate all of them? Over and left the B cells. Faint red mark. Get our antibodies going. The drama yourself. That would probably kill us, huh? <laughs> for you, the whole ordeal was a slight annoyance, while for mm -hmm. millions of cells, it was a desperate fight for life and death. It's so crazy. But this is just the beginning of the epic story that unfolds inside you every day and is told in full in Immune, a journey into the mysterious system that keeps you alive. Written well, they have a book. Denver, the founder and head writer of Kurtzkazat. The book is Ooh. a beautifully illustrated deep dive into the... I may system. have to the buy this book, actually. ...that you don't know enough about that will forever change how you think about your body. I'm going to have to pick that book up for sure. There's no doubt about it, so... I'm going to have to order that. And then there was another video uh, that they were talking about. Compliment, I believe it was called, that we'll have to check out. But yeah, what a video. I mean, this is crazy. So this was very similar to the older one that we watched. Had a little bit more information, though seemed a little bit more focused. But they also have more on this topic. So we'll have to watch those videos. The immune system, the human body just in general, is just so incredibly amazing. We are so lucky and privileged to exist let's just let's just admit that right now anyway thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you like this video hit the like button if you want to see more hit the subscribe button leave a comment if you want to share something i love interacting with you guys and really appreciate it i hope you have a wonderful day